few key rules that you have to follow when you name your files for your website. So this includes your HTML files, your CSS files, your image files, any movies or videos you have, any file that's part of your website should follow this naming convention. The first rule, rule number one, is that everything should be lowercase. So we should never have any words that are uppercase or no uppercase letters in our file names at all. So some examples would be something like index.html. This would be a good example. All the letters are lowercase or myimage.jpg. So this is a very good example, all lowercase. Some bad examples would be something like uh, index.html, you can see I have a capital I, so that's not allowed. It has to be lowercase. Some uh, applications like to give you uppercase file extensions, so something like myimage.jpg. So the JPG there cannot be uppercase. It must be lowercase. That's rule number one. Rule number two is no spaces in your file names. So no spaces at all. So one example would be myimage.jpg. You can see here I have mashed the two words together into one file name. I could not call this myspaceimage.jpg. That's just not allowed on the web. So absolutely no spaces in your file names. The third rule is no special characters. And so what I mean by special characters are things like uh, brackets or stars or percents or ats, anything like that. No special characters. The only special characters you can use are the underscore and the dash. So those are the only two characters you can use. So if we go back to um, my, my images example, if we wanted to separate the word my from the word image, you could type my-image.jpg, and that would be an acceptable file name. Generally, uh, it's preferable to use dashes in your, your file names instead of underscores, but either way works. So those are our rules. All your files, your HTML files, your images, your folders even, must follow these rules. All lowercase, no spaces, and no special characters except the dash or the underscore.